that this is going to be our last song. Thank you so much, Malcolm, so much for having us at your Yule Ball. We're doing it again tomorrow at 1.30. Send a friend or him. We'll do some different songs. We'll do a brand new song that we'll write in the show. Oh, well, that was a very good audience reaction. <laughs> <laughs> for this reality recording this. Yeah, uh, let's see, a couple things. You can uh, go visit the wonderful Richard up at that table. He has CDs for people from the past and USB drives for people who don't have CD drives. Uh, the USBs have all of our entire discography on it, including some exclusive stuff you can only get on there, and a bunch of the songs we play tonight that are no longer on CDs. So check that out. We also have t-shirts. We have a President Snakes t-shirt that says, Vote President Snakes. It does not say the double puts on it anywhere. <laughs> Some would say poor merchandising choice. Others would say it's a good way to raise more questions than you can answer. <laughs> We're gonna be at our table tomorrow, I believe, from 11 to 12 and 3 to 4. And other than that, we'll be around. Yeah. And will you want to be your friend on the internet? Anybody made it to our Gosh Darn Fiasco panel today? Yeah. It was a really good time. We had Mr. Jim Butcher on the panel. And uh, that is a podcast that we have. There are flyers about it over there. We play the game Fiasco with fun people. And it's a, it's a grand old time. We just make up stuff. It's sure fun. And it's cool. You can listen to it on the podcast places. <laughs> there. I really like it. We're gonna, we recorded the one with Jim Butcher. So yeah. you can hear it yourself. It's almost like you were there. But you don't want very close by, at the very least. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you so much. Ooh, wonderful. Give yourselves a hand. Please don't fall in love with the super villain in my life. What's that? Oh, who's that fourth one? person that compliments you and loves you and does not try to invade his mind, your mind. <laughs> and the creepy daddy is you. <laughs> okay, this is a song about the nerd community. <laughs> about how sometimes it's bad, but sometimes it is good. Uh, a thing happened a few years ago, uh, a few years ago, a thing happens constantly all the time called sexism. Uh, there's this thing called fake girl testing where some people decided you had to be you're against it, I understand. <laughs> people had to decided you had to be a certain way to be a nerd, and if not, you were subject to testing and ridicule and objectification and so on. People would come up to us and ask us questions like, is Jar Jar Binks a water type Pokemon or a fairy type Pokemon? <laughs> or who's your favorite X X-Men's? Is it Superman's? Or Wonder Men's. <laughs> I'm gonna be fairly honest with you, I don't listen when men talk to me. So, I may have translated those wrong. But anyway, this is a wonderful community. We come here because we love things in a certain way, and because we feel a certain way, and we should all celebrate one another in this space, and not be big old jerks. Yeah. <laughs> this song is called Nothing to Prove. Queen's Law. Law. Indeed. This is not our Wheaton's Law song, although we do have one. This is a song called Nothing to Prove. 